in class and in our previous video we went over the idea of JSON file format, the ability to universally persist data using JavaScript object notation. And the idea is we want to consume it in our JavaScript application. We're going to do that by way of fetch. But in, before we get fetching JSON data, we need to understand what a promise is. You see, fetching relies on promises. So let's see what that looks like here now. Okay, now a promise in JavaScript is theoretically the same as a real world promise. You know, I promise you for a pizza day, right? That will happen sometime in the future. It may or may not happen. We don't know what will happen in the future to make that succeed or fail. This is the idea of a promise. It's asynchronous. Now, in code, it gets expressed this way. It is an object. So I'm going to make up a pizza day uh, object, promise. And it's a new promise object. OK. Now, this object is created with a function being passed to it, right? A callback function, just like our array prototype methods. Now, this function requires two parameters to be passed to it. So there's my function block right there for my promise. And then I'm going to pass it two parameters. You see, the promise needs something to handle the success state and something to handle the failed, the failed state, or the promise is fulfilled or it's not fulfilled, right? So I'm going to make my one handler or my one uh, parameter here called success, and the other one will just be called failed. It never occurred. Okay. Now, inside this promise, it's either or, right? The promise either succeeded and was delivered, or it failed, right? It was not uh, fulfilled. So I'm going to create a little fictitious scenario here for something to happen in the future. I'm going to generate a random number. OK, now let me just grab the little code snippet here from our online help. We'll generate a number between 1 and 10. OK, so let me just alter this a little bit. Let me add 1 there to, uh, to this logic. OK, so the idea with a promise is, OK, so let's say if in the future, the random number uh, is even. So let's go modulus 2 equals no remainder. OK, then we're going to uh, have the promise fulfilled. OK, else uh, it will not be fulfilled. So uh, that you will get pizza is left up to the fates. If we have an even number, you're going to get it. If it's odd, I'm sorry, we're not. OK, now. When we uh, do this, we, um, we set up our success and failure or our fulfilled and unfulfilled um, parameters here. So I'm going to say success. We're going to pass it this message. Pizza was served. OK, yay. Uh, however, if the number is odd, then we're going to set up the failed handler here, and we're going to say pizza was not served. And let's just do a good old boo hiss there. OK, now with promises, we have two handlers, one for success and one for failed, right? So coming out of the promise, we have a then handler. This is our success. And uh, if we don't succeed, then we have a catch handler. OK, so what we're going to do here is um, set up a message variable and say it's going to go to console.log message. OK, now the same uh, expression is going to go into my catch handler. OK, so how does this work? The idea with the promise is if our success parameter is uh, fulfilled, right? OK, so if we have an even number, we will set up success, which means then we jump into this then handler. However, if the failure occurs, if it's unfulfilled, it jumps into the catch handler. There's our either or. OK, so this is a simple promise. And well, you know what? Let's put the random number out to the console here in our promise just so we can uh, check our uh, logic and make sure it's correct. OK, so let's do this promise now. 
Okay, so what happened here? Okay, we generate an odd number. So look, the else branch occurred, failure happen, happened, and we jump into this, cons this catch handler right here for the promise. Okay, let's keep on running this. Okay, and there's our even number. Pizza was served, and now we go back to odd, and so forth. Okay, oh, and I should fix my logic there. Put this to 10. Uh, it doesn't matter whether we go to 11 or 10. We'll keep it at that. Now, this is a simple promise. And a more complicated promise could be this. So let, let's set it up. Let's say, okay, if I generate an even number that's greater than four, well, then we'll get pizza and beer. Otherwise, it's just pizza. Okay, there's the even scenario. And um, otherwise, we, you know, odd is still going to be no pizza. Now, we always have these if else's, okay, either or. So, how do we handle this nature of generating an even number that is, you know, one thing or the other? Well, promises that are fulfilled can break into new promises. So, the idea is. I'm going to jump into one more then handler here. So it's going to look something like this. So let's come back to our logic. If we generate an even number, what we're going to do is we are going to um, set up the success state with passing the random number down the line. I mean, it's going to jump into here to allow us to assess another either or question. Okay, so then I can say here, if I'm passing a random number, the random number goes to another expression. Okay, I'll pull this chain up here. All right, so now in this block, we can ask another either or question and we can say this if, okay, so if our random number is greater than four, okay, here's our one block, else we'll have another outcome, okay. So in here, if it's greater than four, then what we're going to do is return um, this message, uh, pizza and beer was served and then if it's not greater than four there's our either or we'll just say pizza was served okay so the idea with more complicated promises is we start out with an initial promise on the success we can jump down to a new promise okay the idea is there are either or conditions that always will hand uh eventually uh, result in either going into a final then or a final catch. Okay, so let's run this now and see the expected outcome. Okay, so we'll run this. And what happened? 10. Yes, okay. Pizza and beer were served. That's awesome. Okay, let's see a new number. Pizza was served. We have an even number jumped into here and we've gotten into this block. Okay, and we'll look at... Uh, that again. Oops, hang on, let me just not highlight the code there. Seven, okay, and there we have an odd number, and we can continue going, and we got one another odd number. So we see that here, when we have the failure state, it just jumps right into the catch block all the time, okay. There we go. So this is the idea of a promise, and you can see promises heavily used method chaining, right? We see this here and we'll see it again when we look at fetching. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.